Welcome, this is our Spider 2.0. It's an integrated cockpit solution with multiple ECUs upscaled for maximum cost savings. This is powered by Panasonic's next generation skip Chen hardware. This is a fully validated hardware powered by Qualcomm SA20 with a host of peripherals and a stackable design. So what we have here is an IVI system, a cluster, a rear seat entertainment, surround view camera, and a, and a camera we've put up there for object detection, all up integrated into a single piece of hardware. On the software side, this is running Open Synergy Cocos Hypervisor, which is a type one bare metal ASIL B certified hypervisor running three operating systems. It's running the latest version of Android, Android P. It's running a cluster on automotive grade Linux with Kanzi HMI and it's running a little safety RTOS for doing telltale detection for ASLB use cases. Talking about the cluster here, I have CAN messages that are driving the cluster dials, showing you a highly smooth and responsive experience. We also have content sharing use cases where I'm able to share map content running on the IVI onto the cluster. Coming on to the IVI side, we have a host of cool features, one of which is wireless CarPlay. So you can see the phone is sitting here, it's quite far away, quite far away, and it's wirelessly projecting here onto the system. We have integrated an automaker extension to allow for some features like climate to be able to integrate that into the CarPlay experience. Additionally, we have Cirrus XM 360L. We are the only ones on the floor to integrate this version of Cirrus XM that has both IP and satellite radio capabilities. We also have surround view capability where I'm able to stitch four cam images from four cameras into an integrated view and have a highly responsive stitched image here running on the IVI system. Additionally, one of the cameras is streaming to the rear seat system and we have integrated Google's machine learning kit to do object and person, dete person detection for autonomous cars where a person may leave some stuff behind and it can be a cabin facing camera that can detect that and notify the user. Coming to the RSC side, we have integrated an RSC arm driven by the same system where I can launch say a Netflix app and play streaming content or downloaded content onto the RSE. This is a 4K display driven by a lower variant of the SkipChen platform that shown earlier. And that was a demo of Spider 2.0, which provides upscale integration of multiple ECUs to give an integrated cockpit experience.